Am I crazy? Or did I just hear that Nicole's sister, Hot Pushy Murphy, is messing around with another married man? I mean, come on, Nicole. Now you old, but you know what Nicole is. You can, you cannot tell me that Nicole is not putting that cougar vagina on the market. You can't convince me otherwise, okay? But child, before we get into it. Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon and Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, let's talk about what the hell is going on here now with you, Ninja News. Okay, so I was listening to the young lady, um, Nika Knight, such a cute little girl. I, I I think she got some of her numbers or a lot of her numbers, um, like around the Tasha K thing. You know, I'm not sure, but anyway, very cute little girl, little I mean, young lady, a gap in the tooth. She's doing very well for herself, child. When I tell you, us old ladies see it down to the YouTube, be struggling, child, struggling. But at any rate, I was listening to her, and she was talking about the situation with Nikki Murphy, and his name is Antoine Fuqua. I've heard that name before. Like, he's a director. I can't remember what movies he has directed. I don't know if I remember. It wasn't Billy. It was something else. But anyway, I didn't know that that guy, number one, was that tall. Okay. Number two, had his body together like that. But, child, I'm going to tell you how all of us want to mesh together, right? But um, she was caught by paparazzi kissing Layla Rashawn's husband, Antoine Fuqua. So let me tell you this. I didn't even know that Layla Rashawn was even married. Do you hear me? I thought that that young lady gave up on herself, started eating, you know, ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, gained a whole bunch of weight. I'm not knocking her. I'm just saying it just looked, I just thought the lady was depressed. I didn't know what happened to her after, what is that, waiting to exhale, okay? Like, well, wait a minute, was Harlem nice before or after waiting to exhale? I don't know, right? But I didn't even know the woman still was doing things, okay? Because the last picture I seen of her, she had gained some weight, right? And then when Nika Knight showed a picture of February, sometime in February of this year where her husband had received a an award for a director. I can't tell you specifically, right? But... um this was back in February of this year. She told me something new because I didn't know the young girl or the uh, young lady was Murray. You know, I didn't know. But um, in the picture, she looked like she lost some weight in her face. She looked beautiful. One thing you would never take away from Layla Rashawn is that she is beautiful. I don't care how fat she is. She could have turned it to piece of the hut over the years. She is still going to be a beautiful girl. Right. So, um, of course, the shave room. I swear the shave room and Tasha K. Child, welcome to another version of the shade room ruins a bitch life. Because I really believe if you got money and you got the money to pay the shade room, oh, they're going to spend whatever story you want them to do. But, child, like if you cool with one of them roommates or something, you're safe. But if you ain't child it's like they be looking for a reason to get at you you heard me like they be looking for a reason to put your your business in the streets so um what is the next thing i want to talk about so anyway getting back to that um the video showed uh or the the picture that was posted on the shade room showed the comments that Lisa Ray made and she added Nikki Murphy in the comment basically like at Nikki Murphy you still messing around with women's husbands or married men whatever the case may be now this is where I'm gonna help Nika Knight at because she has stated that Lisa Ray's 
Lisa Ray McCoy. If y'all don't know her, I know y'all know her from Diamond and the Players Club. And what else did she do? She played in a Tupac video. Child, she's a pretty girl. She's pretty. Like, she like, 50 years old and still got a baby face, right? But um, um, what Nika Knight said that she was once married to an African dude. Nick, girl, come on, boo. That's me. That's some shit that I would do. Come on, you're too young. You need to have your stuff together. But um, what her husband used to be or what her husband was at the time, child, why that dude threw her in the trick bag? He was like, baby, I'm going to give you the world. You about to be the first lady of Turks and Caicos. And she was because he was like the prime minister or something of Turks and Caicos. Child, when I tell you that lady, when she found out that that motherfucker was a skim, scam, skimmy, and all he was was a title, the prime minister of Turks and Kinkas. Ooh, that lady was so hurt, child. She found out that all her cars were not in his name. They weren't bought. They was rented and leased in her name. She didn't even know that the ninja put the cars in her name. I said, <laughs> oh, my God, Lisa Ray. But I, I think Lisa Ray is a Libra or some kind of air sign. I'm not sure. But, child, she thought she made it, child. I remember this. I remember that. And I also will always say that part of the reason why Lisa Ray is has been single for a long time is because she's very picky and she always wants her men to have to be, you know, financially safe or of some status. And I'm saying to myself, girl, you about 50 some years old. Trust me, if you come across a man that has some financial status, he don't want your old bussy. He want an old young, you know, virginy you know, bussy. And that's all I got to say about that. But anyway, Lisa Ray called her ass out on the shave room. And you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised about Nicole Murphy because y'all remember when she said she wanted to get with Drake? I'm like, Drake? Ugh. Like, ugh. You know how easy it would be to get with Drake, girl? Drake act like his ass don't have no standards at all so I was like oh I'm not really impressed with you know Drake but I mean it's Drake I mean he sleeps with strippers without condoms is that nigga taking prep okay I'm back let me say this I don't know all the strippers in the world I don't know how clean or dirty their vagina is I'm sorry if I offended any dancers for you know that previous comment you know uh, sorry my bad so let's move on right quick to Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbell I remember when I first seen Naomi Campbell on the front of a magazine she was 15 years old and it was so amazing to me because I, she was on the front of a magazine that typically does not have black women on the front. She was 15 years old. She's from Britain. I never really thought that she was, you know, very attractive, but she was just oddly beautiful to me. And I remember her and, you know, the world were, was head over heel for her. I also remember Tyra Big Boy Banks. I remember her too, and the world loved her too. And I mean, at that time, I think we were doing it. We probably had like six top model girls, maybe four or something like that. But child, Tyra Banks was one of them. And um, what Tyra Banks said was that basically Naomi Campbell was put in a position by the industry to have to compete with somebody. So because she was competing, and I think the model world is very competitive anyway. You know, you always feel like you are being replaced because what, from what I understand, when you're 21 years old and you're a model child, you was old, especially since most models started like, 14 years old my mom my mom started modeling at 14 so I know that um you know they go that young but anyway um I think 
It was just natural. And then every time I turn around, Tyra Banks is trying to rationalize that behavior from when she was young, a young model all the time. I'm like, God damn, girl, can you get up? Like, she always brings it up. I'm like... Naomi, you need to go to some kind of therapy with Tyra because she truly has post-traumatic stress disorder from whatever it is that you did to her or for her or away from her, you know. But Tyra, girl, the way you keep talking about this situation, you would think that your ass had PTSD. And she was talking about how she felt bullied by Naomi. And that's enough. You cannot bully me, homie. Like, why she just ain't fight her? I mean, am I freaking too ghetto or too trifling or too hood? I, I would just fight her. Just fight her. You yeah, know, but anyway, guys, tell me what you think. And tell, first tell me what is the name of the movie that Antoine, Antoine Fuqua made that shit just sounds so so daggone um familiar and um tell me who was your favorite black model mine's was beverly johnson yeah i thought she was beautiful her and my mom at any rate guys if you have not already done so please like this video because it is so important to my success here on YouTube and remember this the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down they say my patron loves have a good one deuce